Um, we are very excited about uh, what's about to uh, arrive in Singapore. Obviously, this is a very big year for Singapore. It's the 50th uh, anniversary of Singapore's independence. Uh, it's a big year for Magna Carta because it's the 800th year since the sealing of uh, Magna Carta at Runnymede uh, in England in 1215. And as part of the SG50 celebrations, uh, the UK government wanted to uh, bring a copy of Magna Carta here to Singapore because of its significance, not just for the UK, but for all of those countries that practice the common law system, uh, including uh, Singapore. Uh, so from the 19th of November to the 23rd of November, uh, we will be working with the Supreme Court here to uh, give the public of Singapore the opportunity to come to the Supreme Court uh, and see a copy of Magna Carta um, and a copy also of this, uh, which is King John's writ uh, of 1215. And we'll say a little bit about those um, as, as we go along. The copy that we're bringing to Singapore is uh, dates from 1217. During the 13th century, um, the uh, uh, Magna Carta was reaffirmed by successive uh, kings at different points during the century. Um, and the 1217 version uh, from uh, Her Hereford, rather, sorry, this one here, the 1217 version, um, is one of the best preserved versions that there is. Uh, and the actual text is also extremely significant because um, in many ways there's a more direct line uh, from the substance of the uh, Hereford Cathedral copy uh, through to uh, the present day. Why is Magna Carta such a significant document? Um, it's significant because uh, it's clearly uh, the foundation of the English law system, which then evolved into the common law system. Uh, and we can trace uh, as well uh, there are some of the key principles that underpin uh, not just the common law system, but the whole concept of the rule of law. Uh, we can trace that back to the ceiling of Magna Carta in 1215. We can trace concepts around individual rights and freedoms uh, back to the ceiling of Magna Carta. We can trace principles like trial by jury or the right of an individual to be um, tried according to the law back to uh, Magna Carta. And we can even, I think, say that we can trace the roots of modern democracy uh, back to Magna Carta. So the, the document, even though the provisions, the individual provisions of Magna Carta have long been um, overtaken by history uh, and may not be uh, directly relevant in their detail, the significance of the document, I think, speaks to us uh, here in the 21st century in a country like Singapore, in the UK, just as much um, uh, as it did in the 13th century. So we're very, very excited to be working with the Supreme Court to um, uh, we'll be bring, uh, arranging an exhibition um, alongside the uh, display of these two documents um, and uh, in the run-up as well to uh, the, the exhibition there will be um, some public lectures and we're working on those with the um, uh, National University of Singapore and also uh, the Management University, uh, Singapore Management University. Um, so it's a, a, an opportunity I think for us to celebrate our shared legal heritage um, and to discuss the relevance of Magna Carta uh, in, the, uh, in Singapore in 2015. Alongside Magna Carta we have this effectively email. Um, this is what's called the King's Writ uh, that was the dates from 1215. Um, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the detailed provisions of uh, Magna Carta are in the document itself. But in 1215, uh, the king sent out, uh, King John, uh, sent out to the bishops um, around England who were fundamentally responsible for the administration of the country in 1215. He sent uh, around this king's writ, which effectively instructed them to apply the provisions uh, of Magna Carta um, in, uh, as they went about the administration of the areas for which they were responsible. So in the modern day, I think this would have been done by email. Uh, but in those days it was done on a piece of parchment or a piece of uh, sheepskin. Uh, and it's because it was, these documents uh, were um, written in that fashion 
as they have been preserved and uh, remain to this day. Uh, we have over there a replica of the 1215, one of the, of the 1215 Magna Carta, which is held now in the British Library uh, in the UK. And you can see that, see that that one is done in landscape, whereas the Hereford Cathedral version is done in, in portrait. So um, even in those days, I think they were preparing themselves for the digital era. But it's great that we will be able to share these, um, these documents and explain, I think, the significance.